What a damn extraordinary life with Elijah and super stripped down set this week. I've been trying to make this video all day. I was going to make it while I headed out to Three Forks. I was doing some video work for a client of mine, Scott. So excited to be listing your property with you and all that God has for us. Got all the way out to Three Forks and realized that I had not brought the connectors that hooks my sign to its stand. Three Forks is a long ways to go and to figure it two pieces of metal. Ah, so frustrating. Had to roar back into town, then I had a meeting at five, and on top of all of that busyness, we're in another season of my children puking all over everything. This week, Azriella and Sam are my extra, and I am the ordinary here about, I think it was three years ago, our whole family had the flu. I never wound up throwing up, but I was praying to God that he would bless me with the ability to throw up so I would stop feeling bad. But I remember Charlotte was at work. She was the, one of the last ones not to feel bad. I was at home with the kids. All of my kids were puking all over the place. Charlotte was pregnant with Bowden, so she had a double bad. And she calls and says, honey, I'm done with work. I'm coming home. And I just threw up. I'm sick. And I just fell apart on the phone. I was trying to be strong for the family, but I was starting to feel sick too. I just started crying on the phone. I was like, honey, I'm sick too. We're all sick. There is not a square inch all over this house that does not have puke on it. What are we going to do? She came home and I remember I was holding Azriella on the last square cushion of the sofa that did not have puke on it. Charlotte was laying on the floor taking a nap in a little area in the living room that didn't have puke on it. Kailani was in her bed and was sleeping and we just laid there and we just started to laugh. That's all you can do in that context. Now that was three years ago. Fast forward here like three days ago, Charlotte and I were sleeping. We just got to bed when all of a sudden we started hearing, oh no, no, and, and as he from her top bunk, bless her heart, leaned over the side because she didn't want to get her puke on her blankets and just, oh man, crop dusted her entire room. There's puke all over the floor. She's crying and there's big snot boogers coming out of her nose. Oh, just the worst way to wake up as a parent. And over then, the next couple of days, she's done well. She's been bouncing back, hasn't been showing any signs of any nausea or sickness or fever. And so this morning she got up and said, Dad, I'm so hungry. Can I go downstairs and get a fig bar before breakfast? I'm so hungry, Dad. So he said, yes, this is great. You're starting to feel better. Honey, baby, go get a fig bar. We'll be right down and let's merge on into breakfast. Get downstairs. Azriel has got her fig bar, has drank her water. She's getting to be such a big girl. She can serve her needs. And we sat down, watched a little video, read some books. Towards eight o'clock then I said, all right, kids, let's get up to the table. We're gonna have some breakfast. As he had jumped off the sofa, ran over to the cuddler, laid down, had her hands underneath of her chin, and all of a sudden begins puking all over her hands and the cuddler. Now, the, we call it the cuddler in our family. It's, it's right in between a, a lazy boy chair and a love seat that doesn't rock, but it's just extra big. It's made for two people. You can cuddle on it. It's just the best. When she was little three years ago, she had just started getting better. I covered the whole chair with a blanket, gave her some cranberry juice and a few crackers. After she had had those, she starts wildly looking around, grabs the blanket that I covered the cuddler up with, pulls the blanket back, and then bleh, pukes all over the right arm of the chair. Now, this time, we're here just today, this morning, maybe too soon, too soon? No, it's all good. <laughs> this morning, she's laying on the left side arm with her hands underneath of her chin and just like bleh, throws up all of her chewed up fig bar, all of the water, and then heaves like four or five more times there is fig bar spackled all over the left arm of the chair. 
There's water and stomach bile flowing down the side of it, down the side where you sit, out the back of the cuddler. I started by jumping up and saying, honey, no, no, stop, no. I was pulling my hair and jumping up and down. What are you gonna do? It started now, but she just continued to sit there. <laughs> puking all over her hands like, dad, I'm puking. Yep, I can see that. Now, in the season we're in, it's, it's so difficult to, to engage those kind of events in our family with grace and gentleness and understanding and patience and kindness. Love is patient, love is kind. If you're a parent and you're asking God for patience and kindness, stop asking him for those two and just ask him for love. Love is patient, love is kind. If you're not being patient and kind, you got a love problem, not a kindness and patience problem. I started praying, God, please help me to love my daughter well. She's sick, she hates throwing up. Please give me your love. Give me the father love of your very heart to give to my child right now because daddy's having a hard time. So I was about ready to go out and get a wet vac when instead I decided I was gonna reach out to my friend Sam. Now Sam is the man. Guy cleans 100,000, 200,000, million dollar vehicles. He's got a detailing business and the guy crushes. Sam shines autos meticulously. Bam, check the guy out. If there's anybody who knows how to deal with upholstery in the best way possible, it's Sam. Shot him in Texas, says, Sam, my child just spackled the sofa. It will be funny one day, what you got for me? Right away, he sends back a text. He said, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Get some upholstery foam. I don't know what the consumer level stuff is. I just buy the pro status stuff. If you can't find something or want help, just run past my shop and I'll give you a can. So generous. Sam, thank you so much. Went out, got some wool light, scrub a dead do looking like new. Thank you, Sam. Now, the thing that I celebrated and why Sam and Azzy are my extra, I sent Sam a text and I, I said, Sam, you're the man, beauty of community, leaning into our areas of gifting and experience to make hard and confusing things easier. Thanks, sir. Friends, my encouragement is that in leaning into our areas of gifting and experience, it makes hard and confusing things easier. I, I could have spent tons of time watching YouTube videos, Googling, calling around other parents. What do you do when you, your kid spackles your sofa and you got fig bar ground into upholstery? Through that process, it would have been extra hard. It would have taken more time to figure it out. And the whole time, I would have been stewing and brewing in the fact that there's this mess now that I have to clean up on top of taking care of all the other kids who are also coughing and sick. Instead, I reached out to my friend Sam, who is boss level at cleaning upholstery that costs hundreds of thousands of dollars, and people trust this guy to, to make their cars perfect, that he can handle that kind of context with ease and professionalism and expertise. Here I am, a dad trying to get puke out of a upholstery in a sofa that I could throw out tomorrow. I think his input's gonna be valuable. Now the beautiful thing is, is leaning into his experience and in insights helped to make something that was very confusing and difficult for me a snap. I knew exactly what to do. I knew it was gonna be the best. And it gave me then more energy to be able to serve my family well. Friends, as we press into community together in our families, in our businesses, in serving those who are under our authority. When we run up against those things where those under us, they've got things on their insides and their insides say, ain't staying on my insides and they put it on their outsides and it just creates messes everywhere. The best way to merge forward is to reach out to known and trusted community to lean on their areas of expertise, giftedness and insights in order to help make confusing and hard things easier. If you've just been trying to rough it out on your own, you don't wanna invite other people outside of your family or your business or whatever context you're leading in into your mess to help bear the burden with you, my admonition to you is 
reach out to the Sams in your life, they'll make the puke of your Azriellas all that much easier to clean up. <laughs> if you subscribe to what I'm doing, then hit the button, hit it, and then get it. Hit the bell as well so you get notified with the new content. And if you love this video, you didn't just like it, hit the thumbs down button. I pray blessings on all of your days. <sighs> it's super late, stripped down to the max. Gotta get this done and go to bed. These are the days as parents. These are the days. Adulting is hard. Mm. But the responsibility within the lives of world changers that you're raising is so joyful, so worth it. Mm. I love you guys lots. And I will see you in the next video.